Hey, what's up, YouTube people? Uh, we're back at the Borrow Pit, and uh, it's a Wednesday. We did snow removal all day yesterday just to get you updated, and uh, had to go get my DOT physical this morning for my uh, CDL, and of course I passed with flying colors. I'm a specimen of perfect health. And uh, anyways, well, uh, maybe that's not, I could stand to lose a couple pounds if you hadn't noticed that. So we're working on that. It's a struggle. Um, anyways, I don't want to get thinking about that. But we brought the Kubota out with the flatbed trailer. We're going to unload the Kubota, let it warm up at the borrow pit while we, we have to go back to the shop and get the dump trailer. So that'll take a few minutes. It's like 1230 now. We ate lunch before we came out and we're going to get rolling. It is a beautiful day. The sun is out, temperature is about 20, no wind, so uh, hopefully the good news is there was no drifted snow. We drove all the way back here with a loaded trailer, no drift, so if that sun can melt some of this top layer of snow to seal that up so we don't get drifting overnight, that would help us a lot. But um, That's the latest and we'll catch up with you when we get a uh, dump trailer loaded and headed out to the driveway okay load number one uh, 18 degrees out 145 it just takes a while to get everything going here load number one we'll see how we get along okay we're on load number one just leaving the borrow pit I'm gonna film the whole trip so you can see it and I'll just put it on double time. I'm not gonna talk. I'll turn my radio back on. And uh, when I get up there, I'll talk and this film will tell me how long it takes also. So I'm just gonna hold the camera and go for it. Uh, probably average 10 mile an hour. Straight ahead, that's where we dug out last Wednesday and Thursday, and today's Wednesday, a week ago. It's full of snow now. So now we're on a temporary drive in the bean stubble. To my right will be the real driveway, which we're hauling this gravel to. So if you're new to the channel, we dug, finished digging out last Thursday, today's a Wednesday, seven days ago. Did the happy dance, which was pathetic, but we gave it a shot. And uh, then it, 
we had other things in the snow and we have not hauled any gravel for over a week there's the driveway fabric down I'm gonna back up to that and uh, I'm gonna have to shut you off to back up with two hands I don't have my glasses it looks like five minutes 13 seconds it took us to get up here okay we're hauling load number two we just left the borrow pit and uh, got the phone camera charging in the truck so I can't take it with me load number two going out to the drive load number three leaving the borrow pit load number three going pretty good so far load number four leaving the borrow pit little bit greasy on top it's weird how it I mean it's never got above 32 average it's 20 if high and got above 20 and there's still slime on top that's that's it goes to show the Sun the heat the Sun can produce if you didn't know that maybe that's the tip for the day no matter how cold it is the Sun can warm things up Just dumped the fourth load, going back to the borrow pit. Here's what it looks like. One load, two load, three load, four load. Uh, sun went down, cloudy. You can feel the temperature is less probably. Now it's getting cold. Load number five on the trailer leaving the borrow pit four forty six load number six going out I forgot to get video I took five loads and I could tell the battery on the trailer was needed charge so I ran the Kubota out there and smoothed off those five loads so I forgot to video that sorry about that but we're going out with load number six Batteries should be charged up good in the trailer. Okay, there's where I smoothed out the five loads. I don't know how many feet. And I just dumped the sixth load right there. I'm going to try to go for seven. It's five o'clock. And I think I got enough battery in the trailer. And, uh, my concern now is uh, says 13 miles to empty, but it's going down really fast. So I'm gonna chance it. It's kind of fun chancing it. Leaving the borrow pit with load number seven, 5:13 p.m. This will be our last load for the day, and then we'll uh, go out and smooth it out. Probably. 5:45. right now I'm standing at the end of where I left off last week with gravel that's gravel there's a piece of the black fabric right there so this is dug out I'm my Kubota is in the middle of the driveway here and this is all uh, drifted snow in the future driveway this all this dirt's been dug out what I'm showing I had to dig out this uh, roll of fabric where I left off last week I just had this roll sitting here and you never know how much it's gonna snow I had to get it out of the snow because up there I'm at the end of a roll so I need this roll okay so we're at the end of this roll see the cardboard tube there's the road out there so we're 400 feet off the road one rolls 435 feet and here's the roll I have. I need to start this new roll. I just wanted to get this done tonight so I didn't have to get all snow covered in the morning and dig it out. And uh, get uh, tomorrow's gonna be a great day, so I just wanna get a good start on that. Okay, got the new roll started underneath the old roll. So I'm gonna go spread that gravel out now. Okay, it's just after six. This will be our end of the day video. There's 150 feet of new driveway seven loads does 150 feet so we had 700 
minus 150. We got 550. I'm real excited about tomorrow. We're going to hit it hard. We're going to shoot for 14 to 16 loads and uh, maybe 250 to 300 feet tomorrow. So that's why I got that roll unrolled. And uh, there's a car coming. Maybe that will judge you how far off the road we are, if you can see. There it is. Anyways, this is the end of the day video. And uh, the tip of the day is sunshine. Even if it's zero degrees out and the sun comes out, it'll melt stuff. So my recommendation is when it snows a lot and your car is covered with snow or ice, get as much just sweep off the snow and then put your snow your car in the sun and it'll melt off um, we never use salt on any of our sidewalks or driveway we just clear the snow as soon as it gets down before you drive on it and by that night your driveway is completely cleared usually so the tip of the day is sunshine and the sun can melt stuff even when it's zero degrees out. Now if it's cloudy out, it doesn't probably happen, but... So, we're done for the day. I gotta go get the truck back at the borrow pit, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, everybody. Really, really appreciate you guys.